transition is scaring me and I'm not even there yet. So, hold on. Let's look like a professional student really quickly. <laughs> This is just a little short video about my honest emotions about my transition from high school to college um, because I feel like people make those videos either after they've moved in or like well after they're out of college and guys I'm gonna be very honest the transition is scaring me and I'm not even there yet so hold on let's look like a professional student really quickly cool Actually, the transition is scaring me truly um, this is probably new knowledge to anybody so for anybody who is new to my channel or doesn't know me i have never lived outside of georgia i've actually been living in the same house for 14 years i've never lived or can remember living anywhere else except for the apartment that i moved to to move here before that i have no memories of living anywhere else so it's very scary moving to a whole new state in a whole new area because like where i live i don't live in the city of atlanta but i live very close to it so it's like the transition to a, a rural area is very nerve-wracking. So I want to be very honest about that, about my fear of being away from home and being away from my friends. Because all my friends are going, like literally me and my, one of my friends on the map are going this way. My other friends going this way. And one of my other friends is going all the way to Louisiana. So it's like I'm going to be far away from my friends. My closest friend is going to be, what, an hour away from me? I can't. Home is an hour and a half away, and that that may seem like child's play to some people that went all the way across the country. Like some some of these people in my school, coming from all the way from California, New York, Ohio, this and that, and I'm like, I'm only going an hour and a half away, and I'm scared. I can only imagine how they feel. So, yeah, those are my honest emotions as of right now. I am truly terrified. I'm terrified about the transition for like waking up for my classes and all that. Like I'm have to I'm gonna have to get control of my sleep schedule to train my brain for a month to be able to get up at six thirty in the morning to shower, get dressed, pack my stuff and go to class at eight AM. Like <laughs> that's scary because okay, I really need to get up at six because if I get up at six I can shower and get all my life together and have my teeth brushed and my body washed by seven six forty five. That's like a forty five minute transition for me. To so shower for uh, twenty minutes, lotion brush my teeth, wash my face, but it is in the bathroom. That's a good 30 minute exchange. That's not so much. 30 minutes is okay. Then go to my room, do my makeup, get dressed, pack all my stuff, then go to class. And then that walk to class is at least 15 minutes. So I gotta be up out of my room by at least 7.30 so that just in case the walk is longer, like if it's raining or something, I can get there if I need. Man, cause all of my classes are across the campus. Literally, my, my dorm is here, the classes are over there. I gotta walk there. I'm not gonna lie, it's scaring me a little bit, but I feel like I'm gonna get it together. I feel like I'm gonna be okay. I think to start, I need to clean my room. So probably tonight. So I'm really like, uh, probably tonight, I'm gonna clean my room and get rid of some stuff. Like really open up my space because it's how my room is gonna be. My, my dorm is smaller than my room. <laughs> so um, like I already have struggles living in this small of a room now because like I'm a big, I'm, I'm kind of a big person and I have a lot of stuff. Like I'm, I'm a little bit of a hoarder. So I'm gonna have to really get rid of some stuff. Um, I'm probably going to clean off my dresser and put all my books in a box so that like if I want to take them to college with me, I can. But like y'all, I, I don't even want to show y'all because it looks a mess over there. But I have a lot of books, I have a lot of clothes, and I, I don't want to leave too much here and have people driving back and forth to bring me stuff either. I hate like having to be a burden on people like that. So That's another thing. But I got rid of most of my clothes. I only have two drawers full of uh, shirts and stuff and then in my closet I have a lot of stuff hung up but I, I have two closets in my dorm so really I could take all my clothes with me and I'll be just fine but at the same time I still gotta pack my shoes and my jewelry and my things like that like um really is not too too much going on the only thing I'm leaving is my bed the sheets on my bed and some of my pillows because I bought new pillows for my dorm so it's like I'm leaving all my decorations here <laughs> 
but I have to take a lot with me when I leave. Y'all, this transition is scaring me. Like, I don't know how, I've never been a college student before. Like, it was easier transitioning from middle to high school because it really wasn't that different. Like, they, they made middle school a lot like high school. Matter of fact, my high school had more classes. No, 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 my middle school had more classes than my high school. I had five classes a day in middle school, and then I had four classes a day in high school. So literally, middle school overprepared me for high school. And I think high school underprepared me for college. I'm scared. My first class is at 8 a.m. and my last class is at 4.30. I'm scared. Like, I've been talking to some of these people that I have 9 a.m. I have 10 a.m. My first class is at 9 a.m. and I'm, I'm sitting here with my 8 a.m. class like... Knowing good well, I can't even wake up. Well, the other thing is I'm like psyching myself out because I wake up at 3 a.m. to go to the gym and I stay up most of the night because I sleep most of the day. Because like literally I'll get home from the gym and I'll stay up till like 10 o'clock and then I'll sleep until 6. That's my that's my night sleep right there. And then I go to sleep at midnight because I can't go right back to sleep. Once I'm up, I'm up. But I try to go sleep at midnight just to wake up at 3 a.m. and I can't wake up because it's like when I go to sleep, I go to sleep. Like when I when it's lights out, I'm sorry for the hanger, y'all. I just got to talk. When it's lights out for me, it's lights out until at least six hours later. I don't care how much I slept the night before. If I go to sleep at 12, my body's not going to wake me up till 10, no matter how long I slept the day before. I could slept the whole day before. I will sleep for another 10 hours. My body does that for some reason. Why? I don't know. But I know that about my body. So like me sitting here sleeping throughout the day and then wondering why I can't wake up when it's time for me to get up at 3 a.m. to go work out, that's a, like, I don't know why I'm beating myself up, self up over that. That's why. So what I have to do is to condition my body to go to sleep at 10.30 so that 10.30 to 6 30 to get up for school but the thing is with me working out at 3 a.m i can't regulate my schedule like that so what i'm gonna have to do is go to sleep at like 9 30 to get up at 3 which will train which will train my body to sleep for eight hours and be up for the rest of the day which is <laughs> okay my camera died but um that's it for right now those are just like my honest thoughts and stuff that i'm thinking about um so yeah if you guys have any questions because nine times out of ten by the time i post this video Okay, bye before the, the camera dies again. I'll talk to y'all next time.